You guys, I got them. Finally, I pre-ordered the Artistic Bear Co, which is by Chloe Rose Brushes a while back, and I have finally received them. So I'm so excited to open them up here for you guys today and then test them out against my favorite brushes, which are the Silver Black Velvet brushes. So let's go. <laughs> Oh wow, oh they come in like a nice little sleeve that she put a stamp on. I've got the six piece brush set here. One tree planted, made in the USA. Okay, so she plants a tree for every set you buy, I think, which is amazing. And then just a plain brown sticker there. And then if we look inside, we just have our brushes. So let's see. Oop, one of the little thingies fell off, but that's okay because honestly, I never leave the little thingies on anyway. So actually, why don't we just take them all off and then you guys can see the brushes properly. All right, so we've got, oh, they don't appear, they don't really have any sizes on them, but they just have the artistic Bear Co logo. They are the mint green color, which is Chloe Rose's favorite color. The bristles feel nice. We have three different sizes of filbert brushes, which is great because I do love a good filbert brush. I'll probably use this one a lot. We have a larger round brush, which is very nice here. Again, there's not really sizes, but I would say this is about a size four. And then we've got a smaller one, which I would say is about a size one or two here. I'll use this one a ton. And then we have a tapered brush here, which personally I don't use a lot. Like if I, if I show you my primary used brushes here, obviously silver black velvet. These I use a ton. But the rest of these, like as far as size and shape, I use two flat brushes. And like, I think that this one is probably the only filbert brush that I really use. And this one is actually smaller than the smallest filbert brush from the Chloe Rose set. So we'll see, you know, we'll do a comparison. All right, I have laid these up against the brushes that I most typically use currently. So I would say that the largest are pretty comparable in size along with the medium size. And then I usually use this, um, I would also call this a medium sized brush. So really the equivalent to that in this mix would probably be this one. And then the smaller brush here is much smaller than my normal size four that I use. And then I do have a size two for details, but I don't use it as, as frequently as the silver black velvet brushes. So what I wanna do for you today is just do a comparison. I wanna paint one piece with both sets of brushes and just see the differences and how it goes. Obviously, shape-wise, there's no comparison, right? I'm gonna be using round brushes because that's what I have. I'm gonna be using filbert brushes because that's what I have. So not comparing the size, but necessarily like the water retention and all of the other, I don't know, types of things that go into brushes. So like personally, these brushes I know because I use them a lot. I'm hoping to kind of get to that point with these, but for this initial test, it will just be my first impressions and opinions on the brushes. In honor of this being a Chloe Rose product, I am going to paint this photograph of a bear that I found on Google from the New York Times. And then I am going to transfer the sketch that I made onto watercolor paper so that I can test it out with both the Artistic Bear Co. brushes and my Silver Black Velvet brushes. So we'll do two copies of this, one here, one on the other side, and then we'll be good to go. I started off by just applying a flat wet wash so that I could do some wet on wet for the background which was a really blurred background of just some foliage behind the bear. For this I used the largest filbert brush of the Artistic Bear Co brushes and thought that it worked really well for this and then transitioned into a smaller brush for the actual paint application because I find that a large brush is really difficult to control and unless I'm doing a straight flat wash, I prefer to use a smaller brush. So the medium sized filbert brush worked really well for this as well. And I found that it was really easy to just apply the paint um, 
I used a variety of colors as the foliage was um, rather varied. It was definitely autumn. And so I tried to portray that as best as I could, though I admittedly was not trying to make it super realistic in any way. <laughs> I then just continued forward with that using the same brush and basically that was my entire process for the background of this painting. I then repeated that same process on the other side using my silver black velvet brushes and you can pretty immediately see that the amount of water was substantially more. My silver black velvet brushes are a lot softer of bristles and they hold so much more water. Now, Chloe Rose does not market these as watercolor brushes, so I am by no means saying that these need to hold a ton of water or, you know, I'm, I'm really expecting them to perform like my watercolor specific brushes, but it was just an observation that I made, and honestly, after transitioning from the artistic Barico brushes, I almost found it harder to use my silver black velvet brushes because I forgot that they held so much water, so... It was a really interesting exercise to use two different types of brushes like this in kind of side-by-side -side paintings because they did perform so much differently. That's not to say that I didn't absolutely love the silver black velvet brush or the artistic bear co brushes um, because I did. Honestly, I found them really enjoyable to use. I think that the size range is really good and I really hope that she comes out with more brushes because I would love to have just the whole set of, you know, brushes in sizes and shapes that I gravitate toward more frequently because that's the only thing about these that I'm not so sure is if I'm going to use them because they're just shaped in a way that I don't love. I think that my next test for these brushes will be to use them on gouache because I think that they'll work fantastically for gouache because they are a little bit, um, less malleable than my silver black velvet brushes, which I think will hold up better to a thicker medium. So Chloe Rose tends to use a lot of acrylic paint, and I think that, that these brushes are more geared toward that medium necessarily. Like, I haven't tested them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't use acrylic paint, so I don't know that my test would be worth anything, but I just have a feeling that the stiffness of the bristles would perform better with um, a, a thicker bodied medium. I was able to get a lot of control out of these brushes. I did feel really good about it, and I was also able to get a lot of variation in my like strokes and line weight, if you will. <laughs> um, and it was just overall a really great experience. Additionally, have I mentioned, I don't think I have, that I absolutely love the color of these brushes. They are so pretty. It was at about this point that I ended up using the wrong brush on the right-hand side of the illustration. So here you see me using my artistic bear co brush on the right hand side and I didn't realize it, which to me is a good thing. That means that I was using them and having so much fun and using them, you know, well that it didn't matter to me that it wasn't that the brushes that I was most familiar with. So to me, that is a marker of a good brush. If I can just substitute them seamlessly into my workflow and not even notice that I've done so, that is what I need out of a brush. I need every one of my brushes to perform well enough that I can just switch back and forth and have it be relatively seamless. <laughs> there's my reaction to realizing it and then I do end up switching back to my silver black velvet brush so that I can finish this illustration with the prescribed brush that it is supposed to be used with. Um, I ended up using mostly my smaller brushes for this again from the silver black velvet line because um, it was a small illustration mostly <laughs> and also just because I have way more control with them as well. I feel more comfortable with the smaller brushes and feel that they um, just lended better to this piece. So I did not at any point really practice with the angled brush from the Artistic Barico set. Uh, I will have to find a different application for that where it makes sense to use such an angled brush. If you have any tips, I would love to hear your comments down below of where you use an angled brush, because to be honest, never really in my workflow do I find myself gravitating toward that shape. 
I then went in for a couple of details, which was a joy with this tiny brush. It was so much fun. I loved the tiny brush very much, and I think that it is by far my favorite in the set. So if you're in the market for a small tip brush and you want one that is aesthetically pleasing and easy to use, this is a great one to get. Speaking a little bit more about Chloe Rose, Chloe Rose is a cr huge creator here on YouTube. She is um, always trying out subscription boxes and various art supplies, and she has come out with these brushes. She has a very eco-friendly, um, sustainability conscious mindset about it and is really trying to be a sustainable company, which I can definitely appreciate. And um, while I didn't necessarily see that through in the packaging. Um, she did have her tree planting mission, and so um, I really think that that is cool, and I'm glad that it's just at the forefront of her mind in general. I then mimicked the details with my silver black velvet brushes, and um, honestly, that was really it for these paintings. I didn't spend too much time on it. I really just wanted to compare the brushes side by side for you and give you my thoughts and impressions of just using them for the first time. I will of course be doing future paintings with these brushes and really have enjoyed the process thus far. Like I said, I wanna try them with gouache and perhaps some other things as well. I would really love to hear your thoughts down below on these brushes and any other art supplies that you would be interested in me trying. This was a fun one because it was something that I just stumbled across on YouTube and was like, ooh, let me buy that. Um, but if you have any product suggestions, I would love to hear them and I am always looking for fun new things to give a try to. Let me know if you liked the paintings down below. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're interested. I post new art content every single week and I would love to have you along for the next one. Here's a close up of the brushes again, along with my final piece. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun making it and to be honest, these brushes get an A plus from me. So they're going into my favorite brush bin and I plan on using them a lot in the future.